hello friends please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos hello friends welcome back to the channel as in my previous video we have learned about lambda function if you haven't seen that link is in i button today we are going to learn about map function so what is this map function executes for each item in the list dictionary or any iterable items this is the syntax of map function so map function will take two arguments first is the function object or function name and second you can give any n number of iterable items like list dictionary and other now where we can use it when we need to execute a function multiple times for the same objective means the number of execution of map function will always equals to the length of the iterable item now let's implement this in our code so this is the script and i'm going to comment this now i need to use map so as you can see we need to give a function and the iterable now i'm hitting on enter now uh, we can create another function or even we can give a lambda function also so first i'll show you by this and i am uncommenting it calc and let's return here y sorry return y like this and now we need to give a list so i'm creating a list equals to and i'm giving some values one two three four five and now here i'm going to give this calc the function and the list so this is the map function i have used now the lambda function always return a function object and this is also will return all an object so for this i need to save it as calc i'm going to save it and or i'll be take it as calculation like this and now let's run this so yes our code is working fine now i'm going to print this calc let's see what we have so we are getting a map object now i'm going to uh, create a loop for i in calculation then i'll take the value so i so in our function we have x into 2 it means the iterable items like 1 2 3 these values will be multiplied by 2 so let's run it let's see what we will have yes we have 2 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 3 into 2 6 and so on so yes this map function is working fine so now i am going to comment it and now let's see I am giving one more list here so uh, here list 1 and then list 2 and now I am going to again giving the same value and here I, I need to give two arguments x and y and here we will return something like this x plus y like this and now here also I am giving the list 2. Now what will happen? This map function will sum up both the list items one by one. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 4 plus 4, 8 and 5 plus 5 equals to 10. So let's run it and let's see. Yes, we are getting the data. So as you can see, this calculation having the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values or 5 indexes, it means this map function executes 5 times you can say. Now one more thing which I want to show you, I am not going to use this function and now I am going to use lambda and x and y, I am giving 2 arguments then colon and then x plus y because lambda keyword also 
uh, returning a uh, function object so it should be fine when we are using lambda keyword instead of uh, a normal function so let's run it and let's see yes it is working fine till now we have seen that the list working fine with map function now let's create a dictionary and let's see what we will have so now i am creating a dictionary equals to and there will be a list now i am giving name and then it will be like try to catch and again here i am giving the name and then i want to give a name as map function like this and here i need to change uh, like uh, this lambda function and uh, here i'm giving one argument because we have only one list sorry uh, the dictionary and i am here giving the table as list now i will have only the name sorry not like this like this let's see what we will have so we should have the try to catch and map function okay so okay so we don't have the retrieval items okay so okay this is the problem so i have used the keyword so let's run it so yes we got the try to catch and map function for better understanding i'll update this dictionary so here oh sorry uh, i'll give the grade also so grade will be one and again here also i'm giving the grade sorry not like this grade and then we will have the two so now let's run this so yes we are getting try to catch and map function as names and here I am updating the key as grid. Let's see. Yes, we are getting 1 and 2. So like this, we can use map function or map function is working or performed like this way. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the information. If yes, please hit the like button and comment your feedback. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.